Yo, 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 it's your boy Dank, back with another banger, and today I have for you a no-nonsense, short and simple guide. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to optimise your in-game settings for Escape from Tarkov, and a few tweaks out of game to basically get the best optimization in-game for low-end PCs. So, let's crack right into it. So, when you launch the game, you go into settings. Um, we're going to start on the game section, and here we have FOV. I like to have mine at 75, but if you do put this down to, say, about 69, you can, in some cases, get a few more FPS. So, you have that. Graphic section. You want to make sure you've got your monitor's resolution here. So, mine's a 2K monitor, so I've got that. Aspect ratio 16.9, that's what mine is by default. Now here's a little uh, trick maybe nobody knows about, but um, I usually run full screen on all my games, but ever since I've been playing Tarkov, Borderless gives me like an extra 30 FPS. So I always use Borderless in Tarkov because I get more frames. Monitor, you want to make sure that it's your monitor there selected. Uh, V-Sync, never use this in uh, competitive games. You never want to use that, that gives you a delay. Input delay. <clears throat> right, texture quality. So here I use high. Um, obviously, I'm not running a low end PC, I'm running quite a high end PC, so don't copy anything you see here. But basically, what you do for a low end PC, you want to basically start off low um, and just find a sweet spot for yourself. I would recommend medium though, because low looks absolutely terrible. So, like, if you're struggling with uh, performance, put it on medium. Uh, shadows quality in a competitive game you never want to run shadow so put that always low as possible now object level of detail um, basically just crank this to the left uh, put it right down to the left same for this and that should give you a nice FPS boost it will change like the visibility and stuff like that but overall it's still clear to see people and stuff like that running as low as it can go so crank them to the left Clouds quality, put this as low as you can. Anti-analyzing, I use high. Um, like I said, I'm running a high-end PC, but um, for low-end, I recommend TAA, because FXAA and off just looks absolutely terrible. Uh, volumetric lighting, leave this off, because if you have this on, when people come at you with flashlights, it just looks like they're running around with the sun in their hands, and it's just too bright to even fight back. NVIDIA DLSS, um, I don't use it because I don't need it, but um, this definitely, definitely can increase your performance. Um, so I would start off basically at quality and, and see if you get a, a boost in your performance. If you don't, go to balance. If you still have no boost, go to performance. And if you have ultra performance available, then try that. But I've heard ultra performance looks like the visuals look absolutely terrible, so I wouldn't even recommend that. But yeah, start off on quality and just work your way up to performance to see what you can do. But make sure the DLSS preset is on K because I think this is the latest. Yeah, this is the latest uh, version of DLSS. So yeah, uh, do that. Uh, AMD FSR. Um, this is for AMD CPUs. This is basically what the NVIDIA DLSS offers, but you can do the CPUs. Um, like I said on this one, just start off with quality and then work your way up here to see what your performance looks like. And then everything you see here that's off, you basically want off. You don't want to use this uh, SSR. Like it can like brighten up dark areas on the map, but I don't think it's worth having on because it just eats up performance. So I have it off. Uh, anisotropic filtering, I put on per texture because I get like a few FPS uh, increase with that. Um, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, um, so basically this is a tricky one and it's also tricky to explain, um, but if you have a good CPU, like a modern CPU and like, you know, a modern GPU, like the latest of each, then put it on on plus boost, but if you have like a CPU and a GPU and one's better than the other, then just put it on on, that's the best way I can just explain it to be honest. Sharpness is personal preference. I use 1.0. Um, lobby FPS limit 60. Mip streaming off. Uh, high quality color. I just leave on because I think the color looks a lot better with it on. Also, big one down here. If you want to play streets and you can't, check that box and that will 
lower all the textures and hopefully give you a, a lot more performance. Um, and I think that is it for in-game settings. Yeah, I think that's it for in-game settings. Yeah. Now, out of game settings. Right, step two. If you go to your search bar and type in NVIDIA control panel and just click on that, or you can right click on your desktop screen, click show more options, and you should be able to find it there as well also. And it will bring up this. And then basically on the left hand side, manage 3D settings, you wanna click there. And then it's gonna show you this screen here. Now, automatically it will probably show global like this. You wanna just make sure you've clicked program here. So make sure you click program. And then, <coughs> If you've never done this before, you probably won't see a save from Tarkov in the drop down menu. So, what you have to do is click add here, and then you should find Tarkov in here if you've actually launched the game and done the in game settings. So, yeah, click Tarkov, click add selected program, <coughs> excuse me, and then it should pop up here. Now, if at the top of the page, you basically don't just copy what you see here, I'm going to explain what you want to do because uh, I, like I said, I have a high-end PC, so you don't just want to copy what I have here. So basically you want to listen and follow carefully. Um, anastropic filtering, put this on application controlled. Uh, the ones that are grayed like this, just leave them how they are. Uh, Anti-analyzing mode, enhance the application setting, you want to put this to application controlled. Uh, eight times, you want to just put this application controlled. Uh, transparency, you want to put to off. Um, basically that's application control so put that to off uh, the rest that are greyed out just leave them um, low latency mode I use ultra but I would recommend using on you can try ultra to see if it's any better than on if it's some some cases it might be depending on your hardware but uh, for low-end PCs I would recommend on um, monitor technology fixed refresh rate at all times that's what I prefer to use because that gives me my monitors refresh rate like the highest always um, multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, this makes your game look amazing, but it's like anti-analyzing, this makes the game look amazing, um, but it does eat your FPS, so you don't need it, I would recommend turning it off, because this video is about getting the most FPS we can, and basically trying to play Tarkov a lot more smoother, because we all know Tarkov's optimization is terrible, so... OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure you've got your GPU selected and not auto because sometimes you have onboard graphics which is just like just like a little temporary onboard graphics what you can use and it's just terrible to have selected for whilst you're playing games. So power management mode, I prefer maximum performance. So basically anytime we launch Tarkov, it will go into performance mode and just yeah, that's what you want. The best of the best. Preferred refresh rate highest available because that's what I want I want my refresh rate to always be the highest so yeah put that on anisotropic sample optimization um, you want to just put this to off uh, negative LOD bias put this to clamp this is a lot better than allow for escape from Tarkov so put that to clamp um, texture filter and quality I'm not bothered about the quality, so I want high performance because I want the most FPS while playing the game. Um, texture filling, trillionaire, trillionaire optimization. Oh, yeah, that was a mouthful, that one. Uh, on, that's uh, that's what you want that on. on. Uh, threaded optimization, put that to auto. V-Sync, you want that off in all your PvP competitive games at all times. And that is it, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, if this video helped your performance in any way and it boost your fps in game please drop a like and maybe consider hitting that subscribe button because it helps me get into youtube's algorithm more than you know and it'd be much appreciated guys and um, but without further ado hope you enjoy the rest of your day and peace and love